this is just a brief introduction to the chain rule. Um, in this section I'm going to do a few easy examples and then I'll do another session where we do some more complicated examples. So just as a reminder, you want to use the chain rule anytime you have something in parentheses raised to a power or else something in a radical, because um, remember we can write a radical as a rational power. And you do it whenever the derivative of that stuff, whatever's on the inside, is something other than just one. So over here we have examples of um, functions that do require the chain rule. Uh, f of x equals 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 to the fifth square root of 3x minus 7, or 1 over 5x plus 6 to the fourth. You can see the derivative of this inside is 4x minus 3, so that's not just 1. The derivative of this inside is 3, so that's not 1. And the derivative of this inside is 5. So um, you definitely would need chain rule on those. Whereas for these, what's raised to the power is just x, the derivative of x is 1. Derivative of x here is 1, derivative of x here is 1. So these do not require chain rules. We just use the um, derivative rules we previously learned to find these derivatives, and hopefully at this point you can do this pretty easily. This one would be 5x to the fourth. Uh, for this one, we'd want to first rewrite it as x to the 1 half, and then you'd have g prime of x is 1 half x to the negative 1 half, which you can rewrite as 1 over 2 square root of x. And then for our last one, we'd want to rewrite that as x to the negative fourth, and then h prime would be negative 4x to the negative fifth, which you would rewrite as negative 4 over x to the fifth. So those would be the derivatives of those three functions that do not require chain rule. But let's now do the derivatives of these three that do require chain rule. So as a reminder, the chain rule says if you want to find the derivative of some inside stuff, we'll call it raised to a power, all you do is you bring the power in front, rewrite the inside stuff, decrease the power by 1, and then this is the really important step that a lot of people forget. You then multiply by the derivative of this inside stuff. So make sure you do that at the end of the problem. So we're going to go through and find the derivatives of these three functions. So our, for our first one here, we have f prime of x. We bring our power in front, rewrite the inside. Remember, you don't change this at all, so you rewrite it exactly. Decrease the power by 1, so 5 minus 1 is 4. Then you multiply by the derivative of the inside stuff. So the derivative of this inside is 4x minus 3. And so um, you can leave your answer like that, or you can distribute the 5 through the 4x minus 3, but remember, you cannot distribute through parentheses raised to a power. So you can distribute the 5 through these, because these brackets aren't raised to an outside power, but do not distribute the 5 through that. So if you wanted to do that, you would have 20x minus 15 times 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 to the 4th. So that would be that derivative. For the next one, we are going to rewrite the problem first as 3x minus 7 to the 1 half power. And then we do our derivative. Again, you bring the power in front, so 1 half. Rewrite the inside. Do not change it at all. Rewrite the inside. Decrease the power by 1, so a half minus 1 takes us to negative 1 half and then multiply by the derivative of the inside. And the derivative of 3x minus 7 is just 3. So then we'd rewrite that as 3 over this 2 from the 1 half is going to stay in the bottom. And then this 3x minus 7 to the negative 1 half moves to the bottom as the square root of 3x minus 7. So that would be that one. Now let's look at the last one here. We have h of x equals 1 over 5x plus 6 quantity to the fourth. Again, you'd want to rewrite this as 5x plus 6 to the negative fourth power. And then its derivative, bring the power in front, rewrite the inside without changing it, decrease the power by 1. Be really careful about this. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5 and then times the derivative of the inside, derivative of 5x plus 6 is just 5. 
So now we can multiply the negative 4 times the negative 5, so that gives us negative 20, and then move these parentheses back to the bottom since they have a negative exponent. So negative 20 over 5x plus 6 to the positive fifth.